Hello everyone, this is Shansha and welcome to Z Interactive. In today's Marvelous Designer course, we will learn how we can animate inside Marvelous Designer. Now this suit, if you remember, we created last time, the bomber jacket. So I removed that bomber jacket part and I just kept, uh, I just make it a jumper suit. Okay. So uh, if you notice, if I will uh, like, like simulate it, you can see that it's quite loose. So I wanted to make it little tighter. The reason is that because as loose it will be, uh, it will, it uh, like while animating it, it will take a lot of time. So to save time, I just want to reduce the size of it. So one thing I we can do is that we can share it, share it with the help of uh, wefts. Okay, so I will select it all, weft and warp. Okay. Uh, we will shrink it. So right now we have it uh, weft and warp 100, 100. So I will make it 80, 80. Or what we can do, we can make it 75 instead of 80. So that will be a little uh, more tighter. Okay. And then let's see. Okay, so yeah, it is a little more tighter now. But you will notice that it's still jelly-like. The reason it is jelly-like because we are using the preset, which is nylon feather light. That's why it's more like jelly. So what we can do, just uh, we can uh, click on your fabric instead of nylon fabric. Let's suit. Uh, let's choose something uh, harder nylon canvas will be a little hard okay same thing i will do with uh, bands okay and here as well nylon canvas now if i'll try to move it yeah it's not jelly like anymore okay now in order to animate it you can bring any fbx file and animate it or empty and file inside marvelous designer we have this avatar uh, window mail and motion here there's one motion already given here and we will use this one this is an empty and file so as soon as we will click on it it will apply that empty and to it the motion to it so i have this arrow i will click on it and it will, it will give me this timeline here I will just go to the one window option so I can see only one window. And once I will double click it here, it will uh, it will ask me two things. You want avatar and garment start position? Yes. And transition? Yes. Transition animation is very important. Otherwise, what will happen? Your uh, avatar will start moving without uh, like transiting from A, a uh, like pose to the animation pose. So this you have to keep it. Otherwise, what will happen? Your Avatar will animate, but your garment won't animate with it. So that's why transition is really important. Keep your transition on. Here, I have 24 frames per second. You can choose whatever you want, but I will keep it lower because higher it will be fast and uh, I, will get, uh, I will get some artifacts. The reason is that because I will be not using higher quality uh, simulation. I will be using the lower one. So it's better to keep it uh, low frame per seconds. As soon as I will press OK, you will notice the avatar is now animating. Okay. So avatar is now animating. And this is how he will reach here. Okay. But my garment is not animating. So what we need to do here is to start this record, uh, to press this record, what this record will do, it will allow the garment to follow the avatar and it will move with the avatar. But before doing that, we have to first decide what frame per second, it is 24 frame per second that I actually want. Play type, I will use real time, not frame step, framing step, uh, frame stepping. Otherwise, what will happen is that it will 
it will be doing like this, this like frame skipping but i want it to be real time so i will keep it real time everything as it is okay and one last thing is that simulation quality i can go to the custom and in the custom in the preset i will choose the fast gpu better is to use an image uh, like normal for testing but it will take a lot of time otherwise you can choose this or fitting accurate for a more perfect quality okay but i will use here fast gpu once you are ready with everything you will start your animation okay so keep in mind animation you can create in any application and bring in the a marvelous designer the most common one is to create a, like if you're using a custom avatar then you can create an fbx file of that avatar then bring it here and you can fit your garments to that avatar the way we did it in the last lesson also you can uh, create an mtn file and up uh, and bring it here and apply on your uh, your uh, marvelous designer avatar so now i will start this recording and it will take time so what i will do i will fast uh, i will fast forward it so i will just start it and you can see a garment layer is created and now what it will do is that it will start recording and you can see it has a recording it has started the recording and he's keep on moving now you will notice that some of the like clothes line is coming uh, out of his body the reason is that because first of all i have reduced the particle distance okay that's what why it is happening you can increase the particle particle distance but it will take a lot of time to like simulate uh, like simulate okay now he's going back to his position okay and you can see that it's kind of looking weird the reason is that because of the quality of the anime uh, animation now if i will go uh, come here rewind this and play it so you can see how it's animating and suppose if you're not satisfied with it so what you can do you can go to the garment right click on it and delete this and it will go back to the normal where you were before now let's see how we can bring up our own fbx file now if you remember we uh imported this avatar custom avatar and we have fitted all the, our clothing to it now one issue here will is that he, his pose kind of looks boring now what i did was that I took the same custom avatar and animated it and made a really nice pose starting from a pose and moving to the really cool looking standing pose so this avatar right now is a still avatar it's not animating avatar so what i will do i will delete this still avatar and exactly the same avatar starts from the same position and then moves to the standing position so that i will import now go to file fbx here is the animation one i will open this now it's, i have to turn on the animation cache animation mc usually this is for uh, like my animation but uh, anyhow i have clicked uh, i have select this and scale auto scale and then i will press ok and it will start importing it and now it is imported so you can see that he's standing in the same a pose, uh, a pose and if i move forward okay so he will start changing his uh pose to a really good nice standing pose now this sort of uh, fbx animation you can uh, do for like poses or a complete set of animation in our case we are just uh, like using it for a pose because this pose will be a little hard to put the clothes on so that's why you can make a transition from a to any pose that you want like folding hand and standing 
putting his uh, hands on his hips or any nice poses or complete animation if you want. So once we are done with this, simple what you need to do is that you just have to press the record button. Okay, and then it will start recording with this animation. Okay, so it's recording, recording, recording. And always make sure the transition should not be fast because if it is fast, so the clothes will start flying in the air and they might not do the right thing. You will have a lot of uh, artifacts if, if they're doing. So slowly make them move to another pose. But if you're doing a regular animation, then it's fine because that you cannot uh, like compromise with because that's an animation. But in this case, it's just like transition from a standing A pose to a regular pose or from T pose to any other pose, or like cool looking pose. So that's what we have done here. So now the pose will start. And you can see that's it. So now I will close this. Okay. And he's standing very nicely with a very cool looking pose. I can select all this to make sure they are uh, like they have a particle distance five. Yes, that's good. And I will animate this, uh, like, sorry, I'll like simulate this so that it will rest on this uh, avatar. Okay. So this looks fine. And then what we can do here, uh, one more thing is that we can also use the normal default to make the uh, drapery and everything looks more uh, like nicer or high res because the fast GPU does not give you a high resolution output, but normal default usually gives you. Okay. So now you can see it, it, is, it has started to apply the normal default simulation on it. So it will take a little time to apply the drapery. Okay, and once it is ready, your model will be ready for export. So guys, I hope you have uh, learned something from this lesson today. And if you find it useful, please click the like button. And if you guys like my videos and have not subscribed to my channel yet, so please do it and hit the bell icon. To support my channel, please watch my videos online and do not download them. Otherwise, I won't get any benefit out of it, which will demotivate me to make further videos. So please champion my channel and like my videos if you find them useful. So take care, guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, and keep learning on Z Interactive, your own training institute. If you're enjoying this series and want to binge watch the whole course without waiting for next lesson, then join my Z Interactive Early Bird membership plan. Once you are an active member, you will be able to binge watch all the courses without waiting for lessons to get published. Moreover, you can support my channel by joining Z Interactive Friends membership plan. You will get a lot of perks with that also.